Shalom Chavrim. Uh, it's a good to get a chance to speak with you again. I want to just take a little bit of your time here, about five minutes or so, to speak to you about some serious things that are going on in the world. We know from every angle, every direction, there are ministers all over the world that are speaking about economic collapse that's on the horizon. Um, there may be some things that you're not aware of, but, but I know that there are some people that have even spoken about a holocaust that may come to this nation as well. And I think that is something that we need to get into. And I want to just briefly speak to you about this and tell you why I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more in depth about this in the very near future uh, over the next course of a week or so. Um, a dear brother that, and, and many of you guys know, I've mentioned to you a little bit about Brother Chris, and he's done uh, some of the code searching. It's actually Brother Chris, uh, along with Math, Brother Matthew, and some other brothers out there that that do Bible code searches, and their their ministry is dedicated to the Jewish people, and as well as the prophetic events that are happening in the world today. Um, and I know that there's those that have actually tried to contact these brothers to to run their personal name in the codes and stuff. It's a tremendous work for these brothers to do this. And this is something that uh, if you're trying to contact them, I know it's, it's going to be pretty tough to get them to, to consider that because they, they're doing it the way they feel that God leads them to do it. And uh, and I think I can't really tell you why I ended up in, 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 the, in the scheme of this, but uh, but there I guess there's some things that they felt like that... that my own name may have something to do with it. I feel kind of weird even talking about that, so I don't want to go too deep into that. But let me just share this with you, though, because I think there is one thing you should know and I don't need to stumble about, and that is the Nazi agenda, the Holocaust, the economic collapse that the world is going to see soon enough. Uh, I write about that, by the way, in the book, Israel, Are They Still God's People? I touch on the economic collapse uh, that's coming uh, I don't talk about a, a, a Holocaust so much in there. Uh, I don't believe I did. I forget now. It's been a while since I wrote that book there. But I do talk about the economic collapse. and But I think the Holocaust side of this is really important. And the reason why I bring this up, and we'll get into this a little bit later in some videos, I want to really just prayerfully start looking at this, is because when Chris first sent me a code where they, that they had already been working on about Barack Obama and his name... It's, it's crosses the name of Hashem uh, as an abomination. Uh, it, it speaks of Nazi agenda, Holocaust, uh, all kinds of things on there. Well, these brothers ran my name in this code here, and the odd thing was was my name just streaked right across the entire code. It just kind of like bridged it, pretty much. Not the every single word, but you know what I'm saying, just to give you an idea. And um, and then Brother Chris really felt compelled in his heart to contact me to tell me that I should warn the people. He said, your, your name is there. It, and with your name, you know, the words warning um, of these things is also, you know, I believe it crossed many my eye. I, I don't have the code in front of me to be able to tell you that, but just to kind of give you an idea. And when Brother Chris first told me about this, I, I saw the warning and uh, he put the word now in capital letters with exclamation points. And I thought to myself, I told my wife about it, and I said, you know, honey, I, I just don't know. I do believe that God works on both ends. I said, I'll pray about it. I said, because, you know, I, I believe that when the code is done properly, that certainly it's there's messages that God has hidden in there. I mean, who else could hide messages and codes the way that he does? I mean, it's just fascinating. Uh, but I realize that you could make something out of something that's not really real, but the, the deeper the code gets, the more of the probability that just being chance is just diminished to practically nothing. And that's what these brothers are dedicated for, is trying to, to diminish uh, the coincidence to bring out the reality of what it is. But anyhow, as I was looking at this prayerfully, you know, should I really say something or not? I'm delaying the, the fact of the now part uh, because I wanted to see what God's thought was on this. Um, so the next day comes up, and I've talked to Brother Chris a little bit about it, and we were discussing that code. Well, after I got off the phone with him that night, uh, then another day goes by, I think it's two days by this point here, I'm looking at an email, I was using my iPhone, I was just looking at some emails there, I started going through some emails, and one email I was looking at, I was going to read a, a quote from one of the sisters that had posted a comment on, on uh, 
on the YouTube channel, and as I began to read her comment, that email just disappeared. And all of a sudden, that email came up, warn my people now. And I was blown away by this. I'm thinking to myself, there's no way. How could that email just disappear and a new one pop up? Not just a new one, but go back in time and pick up the email where this brother had sent me this warning. And so a good friend of mine up in New York, I contacted him. He works for Apple. He's a technician. He deals with all these type things here. And I asked him, what's the likelihood that this can happen? Or is it possible? Maybe it is a technical glitch that could happen. And he said, there's no way. He said, brother, he said, not. He said, if you were on a regular computer, a virus might cause something like that to happen. Yes. He said, you're on an Apple iPhone and that happens. He said, that's the hand of God. And so I realized then that God is in this and I need to warn you. And so we're going to get more into this. I do want to say to my Jewish brethren now, I want to say this tonight. Even now, I want you to know this. You need to pack your bags and you need to go back home to Israel. I think, I know there's a lot of speculation amongst our people that believe that when the Mashiach comes, then we'll go home to Israel. No. We need to go home now. And I know that this dividing of the land is prophesied. This is the prophecy of Rebekah and Esau and Jacob in the womb. They fight for nine months and John Kerry has got a nine-month plan for us and when the children come out, God tells Rebecca, it is two nations in your womb fighting. And many scholars have misplaced that scripture and you've tried to say that it's the Arabs against Israel. God said it was two nations. My brother Benjamin Netanyahu, I pray to God that you will see this video. It's two nations, Esau and Jacob, that were in Rebekah's womb. And he said that at the time that they come forth, they will be separated. At the end of these nine-month negotiations, there will be a two-state solution. And my question is, it's not a or not even a question, this is not just a two-state solution. It sounds more like is our, our Hitler's final solution. No wonder why Barack Obama is in the codes to speak about a Nazi agenda. My brethren, do you realize all nations will go against Israel? That will put us as an enemy of the state in every country in the world. If all nations go against us and they bring their armies into Israel, where do you think you're going to be if you're over in these other countries? Yeah. Concentration camps. Same with the United States. And you know who's going in the concentration camps with us? The Christians stand for us. It's going to, they, they're planning also, and so it's also a warning to the Christian brethren out there as well that stand with Israel, that speak about prophetic things that are going to be fulfilled. They will round you up as well. It's coming. It's coming. It's serious. Because Obama, with his Muslim brotherhood that he's bringing into the White House, has got plans. And they're going to round up. Now, if you're Catholic or if you're Presbyterian, Methodist, something like that, you, have, you don't have any problems. Don't, don't even worry. You're all right. You know why? Because the Vatican has done a pre peace treaty with Israel, excuse me, with, with the Palestinians and with the Arab League. I write about that in Israel. They're still God's people as well. They have a league with the, with the Arabs. And of course, the, the, the Presbyterians, they're against Israel as well, and they believe in dividing of the lands. Pretty much anybody that believes in the dividing of the land, you're okay. 
You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about no concentration camps or nothing. You're 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 right up. You're right up there with the, with the new world order and the agenda that they have. You might speak against it, but you're right up there with it. Don't you worry about nothing. Everything will be all right for you. When the world economy collapses and the dollar goes down the drain, you ain't got nothing to worry about. The Vatican's going to bail out the economy with all their billions that they have, which tops the United States Treasury. Mm, well. Treasury's bankrupt anyway. They probably have to give it over to the Vatican because the Vatican has all their money here. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to take it with them. So anyway, uh, you don't have anything to worry about because they'll switch the system over to a cashless system because the Vatican is going to make sure they collect what you owe them. And of course, your mortgage will be writ rewritten because now they will own the banks. So, but for the true Christian, the ones that stand with Israel, now not the group out here that I'm seeing so much run around now that are stabbing Israel in the back saying that Israel is a Zionist movement and we are just a bunch of pigs that was created by the Rothschilds or what have you. Let me tell you something. Do you know that God put it on the heart of the Egyptians to load up Israel with all the gold that they had need of to go home to begin their state with? I don't care where the money come from to start Israel. And when you try to say that it's not a mandate of God, that they have to be all perfectly in line with God, do let me remind you of this as well. When God sent Israel into exile, into Babylon, he said the righteous with the unrighteous went. So when he returns us home, they don't all have to be righteous. When he brings back that righteous that is keeping the laws of God, that is keeping mitzvot, the unrighteous come as well. A mixed multitude went out of Egypt. No wonder we had Dathan and Korah. So what side are you on? What camp are you in? God gave a warning to those out there that took that kind of stand. Moses stood up in a group there and he said, whoever is for God and us, stand on this side. And so I warn you today, if you're out there in the land and you're standing against Israel because somebody has fooled you with their Korah and Dathan doctrine that Israel has no right to be a nation today. If you're on that camp right now, but you want to come on the side of God, then I advise you now in the name of Yahweh, of God, the God of Israel, the God of the Yeshua, you get out of that camp and come to the right side. Otherwise, you will be destroyed with all those Korahs and Dathans that are standing against God's chosen people today. Do you not know that Israel has to be in her homeland in order for Mashiach to come and reveal itself? Where do you think the two witnesses come from? What do you think the scripture of, 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 of John there, Revelation 11 in your own Bible, that says, measure the temple, measure the altar, leave out the outer court, it's given to the Gentiles. There's your two-state solution. Of course, Obama's final solution thinking that when he gets a two-state solution, the Arabs will be able to annihilate the Jews. I've got news for you. You will find out what God answers by fire at that moment. So think about what you're doing. My brother Benjamin Netanyahu, you were anointed of God to lead our people. And I know you've done the best you can. All of you out there that say that he's a Freemason and everything, shame on you! That man was, it was prophesied that he would be prime minister of Israel twice. He was anointed of oil and prophesied saying, thus saith the Lord, ye shall be prime minister of Israel not once but twice. I do not care, even if he is considered to be like Saul. As David said about Saul, when they come and killed Saul, he said, he took the head of that dog off of that man that did that. He said, how dare you touch God's anointed? And when you speak against him, you speak against God's anointed. Careful what side you stand on. The prime minister of Israel, he is not wanting these concessions to be made. He does not want a two-state solution because he knows it's no solution at all. He's only biding time trying to figure out what to do. God, where are you? That's where he's at. That's the situation that we are under. So anyway, we're going to get into these things. Let me just tell you in closing this message here. 
I'm, I'm going on a trip. We're leaving out at the end of this week. My wife is going to try to fly up and meet me as well in Washington. We're going to meet with some people that have the ability to help us to bring together the press conference that we're wanting to do in Washington as well as New York, the United Nations. Peaceful demonstration because we know that God does our fighting for us. We don't have to do anything. All we have to do is show what side we're on. There are some of you that have out there that have said that you want to be a part of this. I thank God for that. Anything that you can do, we appreciate that. There is a financial need. I, I, I don't know what it is. I really don't. I, I can't tell you. But if you want to be a part there, I thank God for that. If you want to come and be a part there, I got one brother from a Messianic congregation, him and the, the, the rabbi of that congregation. They want to be a part. We are all for it. We're working on trying to get the thing set up now. We feel in our heart to go back to Israel this year during the high holidays. I want to be able to film on location on some particular issues. I don't know what God is going to reveal at this time yet or what he's planning on doing, but I do know one thing. I haven't myself seen even a thimbleful of what God is about to reveal. And I know he's going to show us a lot of things. God bless you. Baruch Hashem. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you for listening. Share these videos with anybody and everybody you possibly can. Email it. Put it in your email. Put all your contacts on there. Send it out to everybody. Put it on your Facebook. Twit the, twit the, the, the video as well. Everything you can. Warn the people of what's coming in this nation. I adjure you by the name of Yeshua, Moshiach, Shalom. I warn you. We've got to warn the people. We've got to do everything we can. God bless you.